to another episode of Patents Simplified. In this episode, I'll try to answer the question, what is patentable? The answer is given in the US patent law, actually. And the answer is, an invention is patentable if it is novel, non-obvious, and useful. Uh, novel meaning new, obviously. Non-obvious in light of everything else that had been invented up to that point. And it has to be useful. When the patent law says useful, it means something slightly different than what, what we mean when we when we use the word useful in common language. When we use the word useful, typically we mean something having utility. When the patent law says useful, it means not only that it should have utility, but it should perform the specific function that is intended to perform. Um, to kind of highlight the point, let me give you an example. Uh, let's say you invented a machine, and the machine is an apple peeling apparatus. Um, and then we find out that the apparatus actually does not peel the apple, but it cores the apple and slices it instead. You and I would think that, well, that's a pretty cool machine. It clearly has utility. It is useful. The U.S. patent law would say, no, not so fast. This machine is not useful as an apple peeling apparatus. Therefore, your patent application would be rejected based on um, lacking uh, usefulness. Uh, in other words, it has to not only be um, useful in the common um, sense of the, uh, the word, but it has to perform the specific uh, function that it is intended to perform. The U.S. patent law actually goes a step further and says that there are four categories of things that could be inventions that could that could fall into, you know, being uh, novel, non-obvious, and useful. So those four categories of things are processes, machines, um, manufactures, and compositions of matter. So those are the four patentable subject matters for patents. Um, processes are pretty self-explanatory. Anything. Uh, that is uh, made up of steps is a process. Um, typically, most things that we do in manufacturing are processes. Um, the steps that that are involved in, let's just let's just say, uh, painting an automobile or galvanizing metal, uh, are all processes. Or distilling some chemicals out of some plant material; those are processes. Um, Similarly, a lot of uh, software patents um, are uh, issued because they are considered processes. Machines, the second category, are also self-explanatory. A machine has multiple parts, each part serving a different function, and when they come together, they serve a yet another different function. Um, machines could be in the classical sense of uh, mechanical machines, or it could be electronic machines. Uh, third category was manufacture, and it's a funny word, um, oftentimes it's called articles of manufacture. What it means is simple things that are manufactured. These are things that are manufactured for uh, typically for one purpose, and they're not machines. Um, to give examples, the pencil I'm holding is an article of manufacture. Uh, so is this piece of paper. Uh, so is the sweater I'm wearing. These are all articles of manufacture. Whereas the, the watch I'm wearing is a machine. It is a mechanical machine. And the computer I'm using is an electronic machine. Right? So that is the definition of the machine versus articles of uh, manufacture. The fourth category are compositions of matter. And uh, a composition of matter could be uh, just a mix of chemicals, or it could be a completely new chemical compound. Um, and typically, chemical patents uh, are, are, are uh, considered uh, to introduce new um, compositions of matter, and they're patentable on that basis. Um, so with that explanation, um, let's just look at a couple of more uh, controversial or newer concepts. So software, we mentioned, right? Um, software is patentable. Uh, I, I, I hear people say uh, things as to software not being patentable. 
the software code itself is copyrightable, that is not patentable, but the software is patentable as a process um, because software has um, different elements uh, that perform uh, you know, different functions and that, that feeds you know, output from one block goes into another. So if you think about software as a flow diagram uh, where there are different functions being performed and there are decision points, that is a process and software patents are issued as, uh, on, on the basis that they are processes. Another controversial or uh, you know, more interesting case is the uh, case of business methods. I know that's been controversial uh, in, in some, uh, you know, in, in, you know, in some, uh, some uh, time frame. They are now issued, obviously. Uh, business patents are um, typically processes. They are issued on the basis that they are considered processes. The U.S. law is actually expanding its meaning to incorporate these into it. Um, business patents did not exist when the U.S. patent law originally was conceived or, or written down. Um, neither did uh, software, obviously, neither did computers. Uh, so uh, the meaning of the law expands in the case law and incorporates newer articles, newer inventions um, that, that uh, are introduced. I, it is possible that it will evolve in the future to a direction where some things will have to get added on uh, explicitly, uh, things that you and I aren't thinking about right now. Uh, but those four categories are the basis for everything that, is, that has been and that is being patented right now, uh, meaning uh, processes, machines, articles of manufacture, and composition of matter. So with that uh, brief explanation, I hope that you have a little better understanding of what is and isn't patentable, and you'll have a little easier time writing your next uh, patent application. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.